Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In the previous video session, we have covered how to create files and directories. In today's session, we will learn how to write to a file. So here are the two most important and a very common Java classes which are used to write the text to a file. First is the file writer class. It writes character directly to a file. And second one is the buffered writer class. It stores characters in the buffers and then write to a file. So both classes belongs to the character stream classes. So let us explore these classes. First is the file writer class. So here you can see the file writer class is the subclass of output stream writer class. And it supports the four different constructors to create a file in order to perform some right operations so let us understand with the help of a programming examples how to create an object of file writers in order to perform some right operations so let us create an object of a file writer class first first we will create an object of file writer which is present inside java.io package so file writer object we will create that writer is equal new file writer right so it is showing multiple constructors so right now i'm using the third constructor in which you can pass the name of the file so here you can pass the name of the file for example my file or i can write the student students.txt file right this one so here you can see what is the error let me just move my mouse over this class it is showing unhandled exception type io exception so all the reading and writer class throw some exceptions and you have to manage these exceptions so you can add a throws declaration along with the main method signature so now the compiler will not complain for any error right or you can use the try and catch clause to manage such kind of exceptions so after that you can, with the help of an object writer, you can call the write function. So there is a function that is write, which is used to write some data to a file. So inside it, you can pass some name like James, right? You can pass some names like James. You can perform some operations, okay? Or after that, you will just close the writer object okay or if you would like to display some message you can display some message also that the right operation completes right so you will get this message on console okay so let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it and how it will behave right right click on it You can see it is showing a message the right operation completes and inside your project directory let me just see after refreshing this project directory the file is created or not so here we go you can see it has created the students.txt file and if you will just open this file your data is written here that is james you have written right so this is how to write the text to a file so in this we have not passed any directory here. We have not passed any path. So by default, it will create the student.txt file along with the project directory. If you would like to create this file inside the SRC folder or somewhere else, so you just simply pass the path of it. So you will write SRC and you will pass the forward slash. Okay. If you would like to write this file or create this file inside this package writing to a file so you can just use this name along with src forward slash s writing to a file then forward slash so at this particular location your student.txt file will be created and it will write the text james in that file or if you would like to write some more text right so you can just use the same right operations and you can add like here mary okay 
So let us save this program and run this. Let's see what will be the output of it. So here you can see it is showing the right operation completes. Let us just refresh this project. And let's see, you can see inside writing to a file package or directory, the student.txt file is created and it is showing the James and Mary after it. So if you would like to print this Mary after or after a new line, right? So you can add a new line after it. You can go to writing to a file or you can add the new line slash and okay you will just save your program you will run it again okay you will just refresh this directory okay so click on student.txt and here you can see it is showing the james and mary right it is showing james mary in the next line okay so if you have observed if you will again i will show you if you will run this program again right it is again showing the right operation completes and if you will refresh this project directory and open this student.txt file you can see again it is showing james and mary so what it is doing it is just overwriting the text right it is not adding your names or adding your text right in the next line so what this file writer class does right if you will go in the program this file writer class so what it it is doing it is just overwrite the names james and mary in the student file it is not just appending the content to the new line okay so if you would like to append the content in the in the file you have to use the different constructor of the file writer class so what can you do just you can simply pass a comma and you can pass a true flag here right you can see so what is the meaning of it you can see whenever you will hover your mouse over it this class just wait a moment you can see you are passing some flag this is boolean flag right this is a boolean append if you will pass true it means your content inside the file will be appended to the file not overwrite let me just show you for example you will just add some other name like amit or you will add some name like rakhi right and i will just save this program and you will run it so you will just run this program refresh your browser and here you can see what is the output inside it. You can see it has appended this data, right? James, Mary, Amit, and Rakhi, right? So now you can append if multiple times, if multiple times you will just run this code, so your data will be appended in this file, right? So you can add some new line here also. Here also you can add some new line, okay? So let us run it again. Okay, let us refresh it. And you can see the content of this file, right? It is showing this one, right? James, Mary, Amit, Rakhi, Amit and Rakhi. So you, you, your content is appended. If you will pass the true flag in this program here, right? With the file writer object. So this is the one way to write to the file or you can write the multiple contents of it also. For example, I'm changing the file name that is student1.txt. Or here you would like to just write some a complete sentence like you can write hello i am learning learning to i am learning how to write to a file right how to write to a file so let me just change something here I will just put hi how are you okay so you will just save your programs you will run it and you will see what is the output of it you will refresh it and you can see the new file is created student one.txt and here the content is hello I am learning how to write a file hi how are you so guys this is the way how to write to a file okay so 
this is the first way how to write to a file using the file writer class okay in the next class i will show you how to write to a file using a buffered writer class so before moving or closing the session let me just show you you can create the file using a file class also for example file is equal new file okay or inside it you can pass the complete path here right you can pass this complete path inside it this one so file class is present in java.io package so you can see file file is equal new this is not file writer this is new file right or inside it you are just passing some path of your file so right now i'm just changing the name of the file that is student2.txt so after this how will you create the file you can create file dot create new file right or no need to just call this method you can simply pass the object of file inside file writer you can simply pass inside file writer so what we have done we have created the file object we have passed the name of the file along with the path or inside file writer we are passing the object of the file so let us run this let's see what is the output of it it is showing the right operation completes just refresh your browser refresh your project not browser so here you can see the student 2.txt is created and it has a content this one so guys these are the different ways to create a file and write the content to a file right so you can do the practice of it in the next session we will we will learn how to write to a file using buffered writer class and difference between file writer and buffered writer class so guys thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day